it's Natalie Zafat, and I'm here with Eric from Samsung talking about the pain points of passwords. Eric, what's the problem with passwords and pins? Well, passwords are fun, right? Because uh, the, the biggest challenge with passwords is that people are constantly forgetting them. Um, and then when you forget the password, you have to change it, and you get that uh, annoying message that says you've used that password before. Um, so what, one of the neat things that uh, we've been working on with, with mobile technology is the leveraging biometrics uh, in order to, to become the, the password. Uh, and two areas where this is happening is in fingerprint technology and then in uh, iris recognition as well. Uh, for the IT department, uh, you can be comfortable in knowing that uh, the security levels behind biometrics are there uh, to support the, the data security that you're looking for from a company perspective. Uh, but for the end user, again, it's something as simple as you know, touching the screen with uh, the finger or looking at the, the iris scanner uh, to, to access the, the information. So we're really solving for the security on the IT perspective, uh, but then the, the ease of access and the usability on the, the end user side. So what kind of biometrics applications do you see in the future, let's say in the next five or 10 years? So, so the cool thing is this is happening now, uh, and I think it'll continue to, to grow as we move into the, the future. Uh, but beyond biometrics, just unlocking a device or, or unlocking the secure folder or access to email on the device, what we're already seeing is biometrics playing a large role in banking applications. Uh, so using fingerprint or, or iris uh, authentication to, to actually access my bank accounts. You know, the most important information to me that I want to make sure is absolutely secure on that mobile device. Uh, also for processing payments. Uh, so now with something like Samsung Pay and a combination of either the fingerprint or the, the iris authentication, I no longer need a password when I'm using my device to pay. I simply can look at the device and unlock that, that access to that payment information, but it's still stored very securely on the device. So what are some of the interesting findings around passwords and pins? So there's two studies that come to mind. One was a friendship group that we did with Gen Z, where we were talking about passwords and the importance of it. And one of them had this great quote, which is, uh, he would rather share a toothbrush than his password. And that's, it, it, it is a very nice summary of what that study was all about. Uh, the other was around biometrics. And there's some really interesting um, tweaks that you need to make to the user experience for some of the more advanced biometrics that will be coming out to work. Very fascinating things, but I love that the world is going that way where it's hands-free and really using what you have. So what about biometrics? Can that ever take over the password experience? Definitely, but there's some factors, right? Uh, we have to think about accuracy and whether every time will I get um, will I get the access that I need if I'm using my eyes, my face, my fingerprint, etc. Um, the ease. And can I, can I use this if I'm on a train, if I'm traveling on a plane, uh, if I'm in the dark in my room? Um, so being able to use that flexibility, I think, is another. Um, and then also, just like with anything with change value, you know, does this save me time? Does it make it more efficient? Does it make it more fun? What value have you added for the customer, for the person using it, so that it's just that much more engaging than using the password that I've used for the last 10 years? For more videos like this, subscribe to our channel.